My question to you, Ryan, does the market have legs to keep running through the end of the year? What say you? Well, it's been a magnificent rally over the last three weeks. In fact, we lost 10 percent on the S&P 500, Ash, from the end of the summer uh, all the way until really last month. And then, bam, in three weeks, we gained all of it back. And I would argue here you probably have a lot of momentum here just because, number one, I mentioned this a lot, but earnings growth is going to continue to go up next quarter into next year and potentially even into 2025. Um, and there's a lot of cash on the sidelines. And you know, I see this, too, with my wealth management firm. When I see new accounts that come in, people have been sitting on record levels of cash. In fact, Bank of America estimates $1.4 trillion has gone into money market funds this year from retail investors. If you count institutional money, that's like $5.7 trillion just sitting in cash. And we know with high odds, the Fed's going to probably lower interest rates next year. Money has to go somewhere. So I argue it's somewhere in here FOMO is going to start to kick in, and that could probably push markets a lot higher. Acronym city here, FOMO, fear of missing <laughs> out. And what about TINA? Um, there is no alternative to equities. Is that in play? I love these acronyms, Ash. Uh, yes, Tina is in play because I think there's this, this conventional wisdom that, well, I can get 5% on a treasury right now, and that's better than the stock market. And I would argue no. Right. Uh, if you look at earnings growth uh, per share, it's like 11% next year and the following year. That's way better than 5%. Historically, stocks average 10%. I would argue the market, if you want to bet on where the best place to be is going to be in retrospect, is going to be stocks not sitting in cash, not sitting in a bond portfolio. Equities are probably your best buy here. Anywhere or any particular sector above others that you like, Ryan? Well, I think the Magnificent Seven or those big mega cap stocks have had a huge run. Uh, they're disproportionately a part of the S&P 500. Uh, now we know what's going to happen with interest rates. We know the Fed's probably done rise, raising interest rates. They're probably coming down. Economically sensitive uh, places like small caps, which have really started to move here, which historically are trading at like a 20 percent discount. Great place for money. I'll dare say Europe. Europe's actually up 10% this year. Foreign markets trade a lot mm. cheaper, so I would broaden out your exposure. Um, there's too much concentration in those big mega cap names. It's time to diversify, Ash.